Hey, this is Michael Pavlovich, and I'm back to give you another guided tour through ZBrush. We'll of course check out the new DynaMesh and Insert Mesh functionality, which is an exciting new base mesh creation feature in ZBrush, which allows you to quickly create complex shapes while updating your topology on the fly to avoid stretched or unsculptable polygons. This new system gives you more freedom to create and modify your creations instead of having to worry about updating your topology to keep up with your ideas. We'll touch on transpose updates as well, including quick duplication of meshes, as well as the new transpose curve deformation and smart masking. We have a huge section talking about all the new brushes introduced in ZBrush R2 and R2B. Uh, starting with the curve brushes, these curve brushes allow you to modify your strokes, and depending on the brush, um, also allows you to modify inserted meshes after their initial creation. These brushes give you another avenue for either quick base mesh creation, as well as allowing you to precisely control the final look of your model. And finally, we'll also touch on the new layered pattern brushes and the new spiral and fold brushes that utilize the new twist functionality in the brush menu introduced in R2B. We'll also cover the new noise maker functionality, um, a new plugin within ZBrush, which allows you unprecedented control over the surface details that you apply to your model, not only for noise, but also for tiling and wrapping pattern detail over your entire 3D model. Fiber Mesh is an exciting new addition to ZBrush. Um, Fiber Mesh gives you the ability to preview, modify, create, and groom thousands or tens of thousands of fibers with almost unlimited control. Um, fibers can also be used to create lower resolution strips or 3D geometry, which can be exported for your game res needs. Also, fibers used in conjunction with ZBrush's new micro mesh geometry placement provides even more possibilities for exciting or terrifying renders. And finally, we'll talk about the new render improvements in ZBrush R2 and R2B, um, including the new subsurface-esque real-time wax preview, uh, as well as the new light cap material creation. Uh, light, light cap material creation on its own is pretty cool, but when used in conjunction with environment and background features, it becomes truly amazing. You're now able to use HDR images to dictate your lighting and shadows within ZBrush, which gives you the ability to not only quickly create realistic lighting models to do beautiful renders of your creations with, but also the ability to integrate your models into a background environment. We'll also cover ZBrush's new vector displacement map system using 32-bit displacement maps, and we'll start with showing you how to utilize the diagnostic file built into ZBrush to guarantee the highest quality displacement renders in your program of choice. We'll then use the diagnostic results to determine what settings to use in ZBrush, and so when we export our sample displacement map, it'll render correctly in Maya using Mental Ray. We'll also go over how to use Fiber Mesh to create 32-bit vector displacement maps that you can use as well. As an added bonus, you'll also get to see how I created this Marshall Z maquette base from scratch, completely from within ZBrush, using a number of techniques that we've learned along the way. So, without wasting any more time, let's go get our hands dirty in these amazing new ZBrush releases by our friends over at Pixelogic.